Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about six things that you should not say to the driving test examiner. Believe it or not, I've heard people say these six things. I've talked to people who have said these things to the driving test examiner and I wondered why. So I figured that I'd make a video out of it. And with that being said, if you say these six things or any of them, you know, the driving test examiner might be more likely to look at you in a negative light. So just don't say them. Number one, why did you choose this job? I knew someone, I know someone who asked the driving test examiner why they chose that job. Horrible thing to ask them. You don't want to ask someone why they chose a career path in a negative light. If you prefaced it by saying, you know what, I really want to consider being a driving test examiner, why did you choose this job? That's totally okay. But if you just ask them like, why did you choose this job? Not good, not good at all. Do not say that to them. Do not ask that to them. Number two, I don't like your haircut. I've heard people say this and similar things to the driving test examiners. You would never want to put a test examiner down. Why would you ever want to put them down and insult them? They have your potential license, your potential passing of your test in their hands. And if you insult them, they might just crumple it up and throw it out. Don't insult a test examiner in any way. Number three, I didn't mean to hit that car last week. Listen, if you've made driving mistakes prior to your driving test, that's, you know, it's not a great thing, but it's still okay. You will move on. Life will go on. Don't tell the driving test examiner about a mistake that you made, especially do not tell them about the time that you hit a car. That's a big no-no. Even if you're the best driver around, the test examiner might be wondering if they're gonna be safe being in that passenger seat and they're just gonna wonder, you know, should you have your license if you just hit a car last week? Number four, can I turn the radio on? Listen, in my opinion, as an experienced driver, there's nothing wrong with listening to the radio as you drive. We all do it and we, you know, remain not distracted as we're doing it. But don't ask to turn the radio on during a driving test. It's a distraction. The instructor will probably be wondering why you want the radio on, why you want to be distracted. Moving forward to number five, I know I'm going to pass the test. Don't say that. You don't want to seem that boastful you don't want like listen you can be the best driver in the world but you don't want to make them know that you think that okay of course be aware of your skills and your strengths but you don't want to make it seem like you are thinking that you're the best driver to ever drive on the streets of wherever you live that is not a good way to start your test and your test or it's a good thing to say in the middle of your test for that matter moving forward to number six Hold on because this is going to be wild. I know someone who said this to the driving test examiner. What do you think the driving test examiner thought when they heard that? They're probably thinking, I'm in trouble. This is going to be unsafe. Let's just stop this test right now. Let me fail this guy or girl as quickly as I can. You don't want to make them think that they're in an unsafe situation. Think about it this way. Would you ever want to be in an unsafe situation? Probably not. So why would a driving test examiner want to be in an unsafe situation? Don't ever say anything that will make them think that they are in an unsafe position being in that passenger seat while you're driving the car for the driving test. It's as simple as that. You want to literally make them feel as safe as possible, not as unsafe as possible. And that's basically it. Those are six things that you should never say to the driving test examiner. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.